join the fish and the plantain in one pan and roast it to perfection this recipe is gonna be the best it is so so good that you definitely want to try it over and over again keep watching Greetings to you, beautiful YouTube family. Thank you so much for tuning in to this channel where you'll find amazing, simple, and easy recipes. If you're new here, a very big welcome to you. Trust me, you're going to love everything I drop on here. Please subscribe and turn the notification bell on. Today, we are going to be making one pan roasted grilled fish and plantains. That's what is going to grill everything at once. It is so perfect. So to start off here, we have our whole fish scaled and gutted. The fish I'm using here is croaker. To be precise, it's a yellow croaker right there i have my two ripe plantains uh also be using some ginger and garlic paste right here i have some salt i'm using himalayan pink salt you can use any salt of your choice black pepper i'll be using freshly cracked some bouillon seasoning or some seasoning powder thyme oregano leaves some chili pepper onion powder, basil, and guys, if you've never ever tried non make on fish, you should, give, you should give it a try. It is so flavorful and good. Oh my goodness. It is so, so savory. Lastly, we have our cooking oil right there. The first off, what we want to do as usual is to go ahead and mix our marinade perfectly. Then from there, we'll go on to mix to season our fish or marinate our fish. Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipe. Pastries and bake, African, Asian. American and worldwide recipes, pastries and bake. Easy to follow from kids to adults. Ego yummy yummy, ego yummy yummy. Easy to follow from kids to adults. Ego yummy yummy, ego yummy yummy. Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie. Simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie. Cooking with Claudie. Easy, simple recipe. Ah. Back to our fish. You want to pad dry the fish, wipe it very well, give it. It give you some pampering right there with this beautiful towel. <laughs> yeah, then after that, we're gonna go ahead to score the fish. You can score the fish in any direction or any way, just how you prefer. So, score the fish both sides, then we'll go ahead to marinate the fish perfectly, guys. So, one thing is when you're marinating, you have to make sure that you get that marinade deep inside those legs, you want it to marinate perfectly to the bones if yes if you are someone like me that love fish bone then you have to marinate like really deep inside guys i eat everything on my fish from the bone to the flesh in fact you know what i mean also while you're marinating you have to save some of the marinade for the plantains because we're going to be using same marinade to marinate or season our plantains after marinating the fish we're just going to set it aside and let us move on to prep the plantains to get onto our plantains, I'll just go ahead, peel and slice in my favorite sizes. You can slice the plantain anyhow you want it. Then we'll go ahead to cook everything at once. African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes. Pastries and bake. African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes. 
pastries and bake. Easy to follow from kids to adults. Ego yummy yummy. Ego yummy yummy. Add some cooking oil. Then with the remaining marinade, that's about one tablespoon of marinade. Mind you, you're not going to put all the marinade at once, okay? You can save a little bit more to bust the fish like halfway cooking because for the fish, we're going to bake first. Then we're going to grill the fish before so that it has a good char. Mix the fish or season, season the plantain. Sorry, guys, not fish. Season the plantains appropriately. Then we're going to go ahead to cook everything. So for my baking pan right here on my baking tray i will line it up with um aluminium foil you want the aluminium foil to be like really large on the baking pan because we're gonna wrap the fish with it so you want to have like a good portion of that now rub some oil on the pan so to prevent the fish from sticking like i have some people like asking questions how do i do my fish my fish sticks a lot to the bottom yeah you can always grease it or maybe you can put a barrier between the fish and the baking pan maybe you can put some lemon slices on there so right now my fish comes in the next thing i'm going to do is to arrange my plantains all over the fish like really arrange it be careful not to like put plantains on top another one okay because you're not gonna have like a shower look for it when you want to grill at the end Right now, wrap the fish in such, in such a way that you're going to leave some passage so that air can circulate inside the fish while it's baking. So I'm just going to seal it just like that. The two ends, I'm going to leave it open, open because I want air to circulate perfectly inside. Let it go to a preheated oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to bake for 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, we're just going to open it. Then what you want to do at this point is to rub some of the marinade on the fish that's why i said from the beginning we have to save some okay you see that right now it has been fully cooked but i want it to have that char look or that beautiful golden or brown color i'm just applying some oil from the marinade and i'll brush some of the marinade itself on top of the fish and it's gonna go back to the oven at this point change your oven it's not gonna be on bake at this point let it be on grill or roast or broil but mine i put it on broil what i'm doing i'm just reducing my foil because it was a little bit big i don't want it like just to be spread out open inside my oven then i'll just fold it on the pan like this and let it go back to the oven five minutes on broil 400 degrees fahrenheit because one that beautiful char look and after five minutes on 400 degrees fahrenheit this is how it's looking mind you this part it was not closed it was opened okay and the fish is looking so beautiful so flavorful fully cooked or if you want it char on the other side you can flip it and let it go again for another three or four minutes on the other side that's if you want both sides to be sharp looking so the fish is perfectly cooked right now guys when i took the first taste i could not resist i had to go like on and on and on and on again until <laughs> sorry guys it was so so just delicious thank you so so much for watching guys i really appreciate all the love the support the comments the likes guys we are just starting this journey keep supporting your girls who are gonna reach 100k okay so thank you so much i appreciate it keep supporting me keep trusting my recipes bye